Relationship advice for women. Five tips on avoiding heartache. This is Jay for RelationshipLoveAdvice.com. As you probably noticed, there's no shortage of relationship advice for women on how to get a boyfriend or deal with relationship problems. The lack seems to be somewhere in the middle. How do you avoid bad relationships in the first place? Know who you're looking for. When it comes to women's love lives, most of women spend way too much time trying to be attractive to men in general and not nearly enough time on deciding what type of man you really are trying to attract. You're not counting those fantasies about the tall, dark, and handsome, wealthy investment banker who spends his weekends pirating on the high seas either. I mean, you should really be thinking about the important character attributes of your ideal guy. Watch out for major contradictions in your expectations, too. For instance, if you love the strong, silent type, don't complain when your macho man has a hard time sharing his feelings. Establish your boundaries. Boundaries, popular known as deal breakers, are, are your signals to leave a relationship ASAP. They're things like physical abuse, criminal, criminal background, and addictions. Here's the thing, though. You need to decide what your, boundaries are, what your boundaries are before you get involved with anyone. Once you're romantically and physically involved, or even worse, financially entangled, it's way too easy to start making excuses for his behavior. One good piece of relationship advice for women is to share your deal breakers with a friend. That way, when you call her up to complain, she'll give you a nudge by saying something like, but didn't you swear you'd break up with a guy, any guy who did that? Learn the warning signs. Tired of getting hurt by the same things over and over again? Most likely your man radar is broken. To fix it, learn the early warning signs that can show you when your love interest is likely to be a cheater, physical abuser, alcoholic, or whatever else it is you want to avoid. This way you can filter out the noise and focus in on the good men. If you need pointers, relationship advice for women who've dealt with these kinds of guys can help you out. Listen to your gut. How many times have you heard this one? Well, it's one of the most often repeated pieces of relationship advice for women because it's so true. In relationships, more than anywhere else, a gut feeling alone can tell you when things just aren't going to work out. So don't ignore those instincts. Be aware of instant attraction. Just about all of us have met at least one woman who swears she knew she'd found her soulmate the moment she set eyes upon the man who's now her husband. I don't think it happens. Chalk that up to instinct, too. More often, though, instant attraction eventually leaves you dazed and miserable from a whirlwind affair that crashed in less than a, a month. If you feel yourself is irresistibly attracted to a man you just met, take a step back and ask yourself why. If you can't see any major stop signs, go ahead and get to know the guy. But take it slower than you normally would. A strong initial attraction should make you more cautious, not less. Before you read any more relationship advice for women, take some time to get clear on your own needs and desires. Decide what kind of man you're looking for and set clear boundaries, and you'll give yourself a much better chance of avoiding heartache in the future. This is Jay for RelationshipLoveAdvice.com. If you haven't discovered the seven truths of love, then you're going to breathe new life in your relationship after you visit RelationshipLoveAdvice.com and discover what few people ever consider in their relationships. I'll see you there.